We believe that it's awesome if one person changes their whole world and everything to be basically zero waste and, and the most sustainable. But if every Canadian does a small thing at first and crosses that bridge, it makes much larger impact. Coming from a smaller town, um, you think there's only a couple options. Going to U of T, I had almost like amazing and life-changing experiences with our registrar, putting me on a different path, a design path, rather than uh, more of a science path. I got to do both, which I'm very fortunate, but it changed my trajectory um, almost like a 180. Well, I think it's kind of more of like a mentality shift to think a little bit bigger than just within your school. And I think the broad community in U of T is not necessarily just all about the school, but actually thinking bigger, making big impacts. Hello, I'm Jackson Wyatt. This is my brother Morgan Wyatt. We're here at our plant in Ontario where we manufacture the Greenland. We're actually doing in production run for our millionth container right now. Yeah, so we want to just take you inside the plant, show you the process of how we make the world's first fully compostable compost bin. When you come to the big city, you realize that all your ideas can actually be a reality. Um, a lot of the stuff we do with uh, the green lid we've never experienced before and we have to learn on the spot whether it's manufacturing, distribution, all these, these sales cycles. One of the, the most important skills I gained was the ability to sort of expand myself, so self sort of teaching mechanisms and the ability to sort of like teach yourself how to quickly adapt is a huge, huge aid in, in what we're doing now. I think a lot of people when they have like that eureka moment they almost assume that somebody smarter, faster, better is already working on this or has already done it. Probably not the case, to be honest. Most people don't go that extra step. They see the opportunities, talk about it a little bit, and then don't take the next step, which I think is the biggest part of being an entrepreneur or an inventor. You just sort of have to have faith that just go down a path, keep investigating, and if there's an opportunity, just strike and, and have faith in yourself to, to, to get it done. <laughs> Cross your fingers, too. <laughs> the more you attack different opportunities, the more you'll learn from them. And usually it's, it's always best to use the skills that you've attained, let's say at U of T or in your current like sort of traditional path, and then apply them to, your, to the opportunity. And then you get the expert in that sort of area, and that's, that's when people really succeed. The impact that we can make is, is pretty exciting to think about, and that's really a huge motivation to see that the product we made, we just didn't push it out there and then people just hate it or anything like that. We're actually solving the problem, and which, uh, remain to be seen, I guess, at the beginning of this whole thing.